Good morning, my name is Blake Hara, and I am bringing a devotion to you titled, What God Does for You. In a war, you need to know who is fighting your battles. When God overcomes in the battle, he gets the glory. When the devil comes knocking on your front door, you need to send Jesus to answer the door. The children of Israel had a problem. In front of them and behind them, they had the Red Sea in front of them, and they couldn't go forward. They had the army of Pharaoh behind them, and they could not go back. Because if they did, Pharaoh would just put them back in slavery. This is how God fought for them. He put a cloud between them and Pharaoh's army and the Israelites. When the Egyptians saw the cloud, and it was darkness to them. But when the Israelites saw the cloud, it was a pillar of fire so they could see what to do. The final battle between Israel and Pharaoh and his army, God parted the waters for the children of Israel to pass over on dry ground. But he slammed the door on Pharaoh and his Egyptian army. He parted the waters by a strong wind. He was opening a way for a safe passage, a gate, a door. And the enemy watched as Israel passed over. And it was the hand of God that did not allow them to pursue his people until they were safely on the other side. And when they did go after his people, God took the wheels of the chariots and got them stuck in the mud. We can understand that the Red Sea was a way for God to destroy those who had kept his people in bondage for over 400 years. And one day he would deliver his people. And the words Moses would utter before they cross over. Exodus fourteen thirteen, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Exodus fourteen fourteen, The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for reminding us that when we are in difficult times, <coughs> that you have made a way of escape and will give us victory over our enemies and our trials. In Jesus' name, amen. That is all I have for today. I will see you with part two tomorrow.